We've moved from the fixed frame on the house now out into the yard and we're going to go through all the aspects of prepping up a window sash, masking up and getting ready for spray. The first step here is we need to take the handle off. Now some handles slip off very easily, straight out, others have little bits and pieces of, of screws in here, they're all different. Step one is to take the handle off. Now step two is we've got felts. Every window is different. This one's got four, one on, the, one on the top or one on the bottom and one up either side. If you look down closely in here, you'll see how this sort of comes to a T-junction. This one slips out easy. If only they were all like that, but they're not. Next step is we've got to take the rollers out. This particular type of one comes out quite easy. It's just a matter of a, a screw on the side and it slots straight out and slot back in. And you obviously can't spray with it in because it's going to look terrible and that will jam up the roller and it won't work properly. Let's move on now to the surface preparation so we can get paint to stick to it. Let's face it, anyone could put paint on, but we want to put it on so it stays on, because you don't want to be getting called in two months, three months, four years time. You, you want a product that you're going to be proud of and you can walk away of knowing that you've done your best. With the sash here, you'll notice how Pete's just scouring this one. We don't have to sand it right back to nothing. This one, the surface is quite good, so it just needs to be keyed up. Now what that means is it's just roughing it up a little bit so the etch primer can stick to it. Now after Peter scoured this down, he'll then get his thinners and rub the thinners over to take off all the residue and dust. And from there, he can move on to masking it up, just like you saw the boys do on the fixed panel on the house, and it's ready for spraying. But we've started the masking up process now. You'll notice he's lifted up and over the rubber. Why we do that, because we don't want to spray the rubber, because if we do that, it'll only peel off after a couple of years. So we do that, and then he'll run his standing knife up along there. He'll trim it off, and we're not going to have any problems at all. But it's round in here that's really important. If we're to focus in on here now, just tilt it up a bit, Pete, by the way. So we look in there, and we can see there's lots of dust and build up in there. So he's got to get the, the scourer and turn it sideways and get it in there and get it clean. Because that's part of the spraying service that you have to spray. And it's one of the bits that can easily peel if it's not cleaned and prepped right. We're moving over here to the thick sash to spray it now. A couple of little tricks, I can't go through all of them, but one of them is you always prime the side that doesn't have the felt. Prime that side first, then we flip it around and prime the side with the felts. When you put the final coat on anything, whether it be a fixed sash in the house or a window here, on the final coat you always get a little bit of wrap around overspray and you can't help it because the paint dries and it just gives that little bit of a sandy effect. But if we do it this way, the felt side actually sits on the outside and the screen goes in front of it. No one feels it, no one can touch it and no one knows it better, okay? And that gives you a nice flush, smooth finish here so when the people walk in, they go, wow, that looks new.